What do you dream for? That less people have to say goodbye too soon to people they love. I had heard about Theranos and Elizabeth Holmes. But you know, her story is so compelling. She was going to herald a revolution in medical treatment in this country. It was obviously such an incredible story, a woman creating this $9 billion company. Everyone worshipped the ground she walked on. She could do no wrong. She was the next Steve Jobs. The idea with the Edison was to stick the lab inside the box. She wanted Edison devices in every home in America. This could be the apple of healthcare. You all are part of something that is going to change our world. What higher purpose is there? Elizabeth came to me, and she described her idea. It's impossible, physically. Elizabeth was lying about the accuracy of the blood tests. It's all a show. She didn't want anybody to see what was going on in there. We don't need to explain ourselves to competitive companies. She aligned herself with very powerful men who succumbed to a certain charm. She was deceiving investors to the tune of $400 million. It comes back to fake it until you make it. There was definitely something going on behind the scenes. She had bulletproof glass on their windows. Anything I typed was watched. It was very scary. Like, what are they trying to hide? The mantra in Silicon Valley is move fast, break things. That's not the way you approach science that's going to be impacting people's lives. Quite frankly, people can die. It snowballed into this crazy situation. In a panic, I went and bought a burner phone. I called the Wall Street Journal. What is coming out of her mouth is not reality. She never thought she had any limits. She was going to conquer the world. This was real lunacy. Can you tell us a secret? I don't have many secrets. I'm 